Welcome, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to fulfill orders using the Tockle decentralized application and using the Tockle blockchain's on chain decentralized exchange functionality. So let's get into it. So, first of all, we're going to go across to the DEX here, and as you'll see, uh, this fill order tab uh, at the top here it states you can use this uh, form to fill an order. So, you can either fulfill a buy order, which means sell your token or NFT or fulfill a sell order, which means buy somebody else's. So first of all, we'll start with uh, buying an NFT. So if somebody has their NFT for sale, then I'm going to have to get their order ID off them. When they post it for sale, they'll get this order ID and they'll be able to send that to me and say, hey, um, this is my order. You can fulfill this at any time you like. Say it might be on a website, it might be on the uh, Tockle Blockchain Explorer. Uh, or they might post it to you in Discord. So I've gone ahead and found an order ID for somebody that's selling their token. I'm going to copy and paste that order ID into this field here. And as you can see, uh, it's one, so it's a, a NFT uh, and the price per unit is 55. So this is, they've listed this specific NFT for sale for 55 tockle. As you'll see here, it says review purchase. That's because I'll actually be purchasing this NFT. So we'll click on that. Uh, in this page, at the top left, it says order type sale. But down the bottom, it says confirm purchase. That's because we are actually fulfilling the sale order. So they've put it up for sale using this specific uh, order ID. And we're going to go ahead and purchase that. So we've got amount is one, unit price is 55. Uh, and total cost will be 55. So uh, with the transaction fee uh, standard there. So we'll go ahead uh, and press confirm purchase. And as you can see, the uh, order has been sent to the blockchain and we'll just have to wait a few minutes and we should see this my tutorial NFT show up in our wallet. So we'll go ahead and wait for that order to be confirmed on the blockchain and we should see the NFT populate. And there you go. I've got my tutorial NFT in my wallet. So that is purchasing somebody else's uh, NFT by using the fill order uh, tab. If you would like to fill uh, a purchase order, so uh, somebody has made a bid on your NFT or token, then instead of using this tab, the easiest way is to go down to offers. So these are current offers that people have uh, put on your tokens or NFTs. And you can review those bids and sell um, your NFTs or tokens if you prefer. The other way you can do that is if you have a lot of orders in here and you have somebody that you specifically wanna sell to, then they can give you uh, the order ID specifically and then you can use this fill order to post the order ID in there for uh, their specific order and then sell directly to them. Uh, but what I'll do is I'll go ahead and fill this uh, purchase order. So this is an offer that somebody else has made on my token. As you can see here, I'm gonna sell one unit for 10 tockle. Let's review that. Oh, look at that, it takes you to the fill order. We'll review the sale. Uh, as it says here, it's a purchase order because somebody else has offered to purchase your token. Uh, it's one of them for 10 tockle. There's a 2% royalty, so the total proceeds that you'll receive are the unit price minus the royalty. So we'll go ahead and confirm that sale. And we're broadcasting that order to the blockchain. Therefore, uh, we will then see the NFT my special NFT removed from my wallet after a period of time once the blockchain order has been confirmed. While we're waiting for that though, we'll go back to offers and somebody's offered to purchase uh, Nutella Fungible as well. So they've offered to buy five units of those for three tockle each, uh, totaling 15 tockle. So we'll review that, it takes us to the fill order tab, automatically inputs the order ID. But here, as you can see, uh, because it is a fungible token, we can decide how many uh, we actually want to fulfill. So if I didn't want to sell all five to that one specific order and I just wanted to sell one of those at three tockle, uh, maybe somebody else has offered uh, four tockle for four of them, then I can go ahead and change the quantity that I want to sell. Uh, I can review that sale. As I said before, 
the order type is a purchase order because somebody else is trying to purchase yours, uh, but you're, you are selling it to them. So that's why it says confirm sale down the bottom. Uh, and for this one specifically, there's a 99% royalty. So I'm not going to receive too much. So actually, I'm not going to go ahead and uh, make that sale. So I'll cancel out of that. I'll go back to my offers and have a look at what else we have here. Uh, we can go down to this one, my tutorial fungible token, review that bid, automatically paste the order ID in for my tutorial fungible token and the quantity uh, is the max for that sale. So again, I can go ahead and change the amount of that, uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and sell all seven for one tockle each. I'll review the sale. Cool, only 3% royalty on this one. So I'll receive 6.7899 tockle. I'll confirm the sale, broadcast the order, and then my tutorial fungible token, all seven of them uh, will disappear from my wallet. So at the top here, I've got 55,000. So you should see uh, seven removed from the holdings here once that order has gone through. So that's how you use the fill order section of the decentralized app to either uh, fill a buy order or fill a sell order. Uh, hopefully that wasn't too confusing and uh, with a bit of practice uh, and just reviewing this video, I'm sure you'll get the hang of it. If you have any questions, please join our Discord uh, or post them in the comments section of the video below. Thanks.